Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 3 of Conan by Monolith. Um, it's our setup gameplay video and we'll be doing turn-by-turn -turn gameplay. So um, today we're going to play In the Heart of Darkness with Conan, Shivitas, and Belit and her guards versus Skullfist and a number of monsters. So this is a real cool one. I'm looking forward to playing this one. Uh, I've got these Board Game Geek sourced solo rules uh, with a solo rule AI deck that I custom printed out that uh, we'll be playing with. I think in our previous two Conan seasons, we tried two different solo play rules, and this one won out. So I got a link below for that if you want to try those. I also have the print ready file over on Patreon if you want to go check our Patreon out. And as always, uh, uh, like and subscribe. Your comments mean a lot. I read all the comments, so please leave a comment below. Um, another thing we'll play today here is the um, Conan um, expansion set with the crossbowmen, so we'll talk about that a little later. And uh, just getting the initial board set up here, and then what we'll do is we'll go into the detailed setup off camera. So we'll see you in a minute. So let's look at the uh, cleaned up setup for our game today. So we'll be uh, playing the In the Heart of Darkness. And the setup here is pretty cool. It says the Tigris travels the dark water of the Zarkaba River, whose mysterious shores are covered by the gloomy jungle. The Queen of the Black Coast knows that. Beyond the tangled wall of vegetation, an ancient city may yet hide fabulous treasures. But the legends speak of hauntings, and the local tribes carefully avoid the area. After many hours spent sailing in a supernatural silence, Conan spots the black fangs of towers stretching above the trees. Choked by overgrowth, the ruins exude decadence and desolation. Not heeding the superstitious warnings of her men, Billet disembarks with her Sumerian lover, Shivitas, and a few reluctant crewmen. In an abandoned crypt, they discover a handful of colorful gems and a strange curved knife, spurring them to press deep, deeper into the ruins. In the return of the city, they come through a small fortress, its broken down towers and crumbling walls held together by thick vegetation. Only then do they hear echoes of a voice from beyond the grave. Return, my belongings, heathen profaners, or I shall drench the altar I've set with your blood. Skulthus' trap has been sprung. Okay, so here we are in the ruined castle. Uh, we've got Skulthus here painted up. And he has a, a number of monsters in, in, in store for our heroes. So Frozen captured in each of the four towers. You have... Uh, Kestrel Krell. And the giant serpent. Now Kestrel Kel has uh, got the metallic skin. You can see we've kind of repl replicated it here. So his skin is actually metallic. So he's very hard to injure. We also have an outer demon. And finally, outer dark demon. Finally, we have a, a dark demon uh, here where there's a missing tower. So that missing tower is actually the entry gate to the area. We have a number of hyenas encamped out here. Treasure chests set up around here. You can see these piles of rubble. These are actually piles of rubble that gets you up to the second level. So you can think of the top of the wall. You can get up there from here, 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 and here, but they take two climbing uh, moves to do that. And you can also see her here, Belit and her two guards, Conan and Shivitas. So uh, additionally, as you can see over in the uh, Book of Skelos, we've got the the um, the river set up here with Dark Demon, Skulthus, Bosonian Archers, the Hyenas, and the Raven. And we've got those side characters ready to go here. We've got Kestrel Kel, Giant Snake, and the Outer Dark Demon. And these can be summoned or unfrozen by, uh, basically, it says here in the rule, the overlord may free a petrified monster and add its tile to the end of the river for freeing a monster with the raven. Okay, so that's one of the raven moves that you can do. 
Um, there's also reinforcement points. Now, to make this a little bit more interesting for our heroes, because I feel like we're always winning all, the, all, the, all of these. I've got the uh, Crossbowman expansion here. And this has got with it some Crossbowmen. And I will add into the game mix two Crossbowmen. Um, and we'll place the we'll place one here. We can have these guys are sort of guarding the back wall, and they've got that line of sight on the gate. They're also guarding uh, Skulthus. But now, if you come up from either side, we'll have crossbowmen, sort of covering, sort of a, really trapping our heroes in a in, a, in an ugly situation. And you can see compared to the uh, Bosonian archers, the crossbowmen. Here's the Bosonian archers. Here's the crossbowmen. The crossbowmen actually don't have armor, but they do roll the red die for, for their archery. So let's put them on the river, uh, again, to balance things out and make it a little difficult at first. We'll give them a cost of six going into the game, and they can get cheaper later. La later. So now, uh, I think that's it. The other thing I've done to help balance back in favor of uh, our players is... I've added an, an additional chest in the, if you see in the, in the play setup, there's no chest in the serpent lair. But I've added a, an additional chest with an additional um, health potion, healing potion. So now we've got three life potions, uh, two explosive orbs, and a javelin. And we will randomize these and just make a deck here for them. Uh, Billet's also got her guards. They've got a, um, a spear with a orange die attack, and they have one armor. So her two guards, they're relatively weak. But there is some good features with them. They can take hits for Billet, so that helps. Uh, and then if, in case anyone was wondering from our um, uh, Hunting the Tigress episode, we had Hydrothus. But let's just say for this episode, if it's kind of campaign mode, you know, we're coming off the Tigris. Um, Belit and her guards, Conan and Shivitas, have moved on to this while Hydrothis is off in town learning some new magic spells. He'll join us back in maybe the next ca campaign game. So, uh, you know, that'll be final ritual, and I think Hydrothis will be back for that. That's, a, again, in the Pictish village. So we'll go back to getting, uh, they're going to go back to the Picts. So other things to think of and set up, we've got the AI deck set up here. So also shuffling that up. This is that deck that we, that custom solution. So we're using a, uh, an expansion set and also this custom deck. So I'll just place this over here, make it easy. Um, and we've got the custom deck rules for Heart of Darkness that has some uh, special rules for this. So then we'll go into those as we get into turn one. Other things of the initial setup, Conan gets his uh, sword, armor, and shield. Shivitas, as usual, gets his Chris and his throwing knives. And that curved knife that you heard about in the intro is the Yutsi knife that Belit has, along with her spear. That, that Yutsi knife is able to um, damage Kestrel Kel. When a hero attacks Kestrelkel with the Yutsi knife, Kestrelkel's armor value becomes three for that attack. His armor value usually is, his armor value is 12. So Billet's going to be key into fighting him, okay? Uh, that is, he is probably one of the most strongest armed characters in the monster set. And then uh, Skulthus also starts with two spells, Sets Bite and Sets Halo. So that gets us set up. Last thing is just uh, Overlord starts with five gems in the reserve and five gems in fatigue. So we'll just move five gems over. And then after setup, the heroes also have five gems in fatigue. So everyone starts with five gems in fatigue. They've been running from their last encounter. So let's have them a bit fatigued. And then they'll heal these up once we start. So. And that is that. I think we're pretty pretty good to start. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We will uh, 
kick off turn one over in the corner here. And uh, looking forward to playing uh, Conan Season 3. And see you over in turn one. Talk to you soon. Bye.